before we get into the crux of Forest Green uh, away this weekend, um, you've had a free week in terms of no midweek game. How's it been in training this week? Good. We were off on Monday out of respect for Her Majesty the Queen. Um, and, and in terms of that not being a working day, um, we were trained really well on Tuesday, got some physical work within the group, um, quick to the ball Tuesday as it's known, and then had a bit more of a tactical session today. Luckily, with the trip not being as long as usual for our away trips, we get to train on our, our own facilities tomorrow morning and then make the short trip just north of Bristol to the hotel. Um, the only difference this week, obviously, it's a, an early kickoff and it's on TV. How's the squad looking for this one? Obviously, we've got a few absentees, uh, long-term absentees, and, and we've still got that, that trouble in defence. How, how is that list of injured players, how, the, how are they all doing at the moment? Well, they've been better. Um, the squad's looked bigger and deeper. Um, it's a little bit thin at the moment. We're a little bit low in terms of numbers. And unfortunately, low in terms of numbers in certain units and certain positions. Um, they're there for everyone to see. We can't hide away from that fact. Um, losing Groundsy uh, at halftime last weekend was another blow to the centre-half department. Um, but we have to put our competitive team this weekend. Um, we'll be looking at other players to stand up and, and be counting in those positions and, and still try and find our rhythm, um, still try and find our identity despite the disjointed nature of the group at the moment. How long do you expect Arsene Grounds to be unavailable for? Look, he's undergone a scan um, yesterday, so we'll get those results in the next couple of days. Um, he's probably in the same bracket of the other six injuries we've got, um, where we don't expect them to be out for months, um, but they're not looking like they'll come back in the next couple of weeks. So in the next sort of two, probably best way to describe it, the next three to six weeks, we're probably going to have a group of five players definitely back within the group um, and back to some sort of fitness level where we can select them. Um, but that's not just around the corner and it's certainly not in, in contention for this weekend, I'm afraid. Looking at Forest Green then, games are always tight. Our last three have finished nil-nil, but you can draw some parallels from that last fixture earlier this year. We, we went there with a, a pretty depleted back line, though Harry Kite filled in there last time. Is it going to be similar today? Like you, like you mentioned, you'll be asking players to perhaps play in positions they, they don't usually play in? Yeah, slightly out of position you know, unnatural um, values for them in, 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 within that position and, and those profiles. Um, but like I said before, we, I still want us to look the same. I want us to look like a, a good Exit City team. Um, we managed to do that in that game in January um, at the start of, 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 of this year, um, the middle of the, of the season. And that really kick-started our second half of the season. We don't need to re restart our season this weekend but we need to find a way of being effective um, and certainly more effective than we were in the game against Burton so we were disappointed with that we, we, we put that to one side we push ourselves down um, we assess who's fit and available um, and put a team out there who's going to show what we're, we're all about and, and with it being on Sky as well we want a really positive showing um, not just on the pitch but in, in the stands as well um, we want it to be a good day for Exeter City Football Club Given those absentee, absentees we've mentioned, have you examined altering formation or is it important for you and the players that you stick to what they're used to playing and are comfortable with? Well, we, we have to be flexible. We'll, we'll always be flexible. We've, we've been able to do that in games. We were forced into a back four at halftime um, against Burton. I actually started the second half quite brightly, had that disallowed goal, which, which should have stood. Um, I haven't had the opposition on the back foot, only to get sucker punched by, by two set pieces. So um, this group have moved around in terms of formations um, mid-game for, for a long time, even before my time and, and Tizzy's time. He'd, he changed it tactically um, several times in a half, let alone in a game. Um, so you know, there's, there's an understanding of what's needed, but our principles don't change. Um, the way we want to play don't play, don't change. Um, the personnel we want on that pitch to to affect the game and to contribute don't ever change. So we're looking at all options, um, but if there are a lot of changes in terms of personnel, you don't want added tactical changes on top of that as well, because too much change can be difficult for the players to comprehend. Um, they're not always the brightest people within the building. Um, so it's, it's important we keep it simple and keep the messages as consistent as we possibly can. So we're assessing what's needed this weekend. Um, not ideal with the personnel, but I still expect us to compete and to perform, perform well this weekend. I think we spoke about at the end of the Burton game, the, the fact this game's on Sky isn't an incentive because they don't need so they don't need any anything like that to G them up. But it's important. It's not a distraction. And we just focus on it like a completely standard game of football. 
yeah, the, the only difference for me is the early kickoff. Um, so they get that pasta and, and jacket potatoes on board at half eight in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning, as opposed to the, the bacon sausages and, and the usual fry ups they have on a, a game day. And um, so preparation is slightly different in relation to that. We can't control the sky cameras being there. Um, it's international weekend, so there's more publicity around the lower leagues, league, leagues one and two. Um, but the players will want to showcase their skills. Um, like I said, we were disappointed with our performance last weekend. And the players will be looking to put on a display which says they're capable of playing at the level, if not above it. Um, we speak long and hard about our young players and their uh, ambitions. And, the, and the, the ambition of each and every member of our squad is to play at the highest le level possible. Um, and if you play well on Sky, there's probably more people watching from a higher level than than what is usually happens when we're we're in the run of the mill League One campaign. So um, again, like I say, the players want to impress in, and they'll have to do the basics well first and foremost. Uh, work their socks off, be tough because we are away from home, and when you go away from home, you have to be tough and roll your sleeves up and withstand a little bit of pressure. Um, but we've got some good players within our ranks, and I'm looking at them to contribute this weekend. Away from that game and, and sort of looking the next few weeks in the future, the Charlton game has been rearranged and the Southampton game uh, both for October. That gives us nine games in October now, playing every Tuesday night. With the current issues we've got with the squad, that are you concerned or are you, are you looking forward to the prospect? No, I'm obviously concerned, but there's nothing we can do about it. That Charlton game had to be rearranged. Um, the Southampton game, on their request of international bodies for, for, for next week, had to be rearranged. So we have to get these fixtures in sometime. Um, within that month and those nine games, I'm sure we'll pick up more injuries. But also within that month, there's a hope and maybe an expectation that some bodies will come back to fitness. So I'm sure we'll get weaker at a stage and we'll get stronger at a stage. Um, you can't look too far ahead and we can't take our focus away from this weekend. And as a manager, you can't control when when games are played. Um, they have to be played. They have to be played in certain inside a certain time frame. Um, but we just hope that when we do go into this run of fixtures, that um, the injuries don't continue in the vein they have done in the last few weeks. Yeah. And finally, then positive news regarding the training ground today. All's on track, and by January, you should have some working heating and, and windows that close. Uh, that'd be a bonus, wouldn't it? Um... A real bonus. Like, like I said previously to the, to the, to the local press, um, it doesn't look much at the moment. Um, the foundations are in amongst the puddles and the dirt and the, you know, the, the, the gravel. Um, but I'm sure when these buildings arrive in the next month, um, we'll start to get a feel for it. Um, at the moment, you, you've seen it yourself. It's just a, a, an open space, literally a building site with not much going on. Um, but when the buildings arrive and they start getting put together and on top of each other and, 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 and shaped in the, the way the training ground will look like at the end, I think that's the time we can start to get excited. Um, but maybe because we see it every day and we see it filling up with water, um, it's a, a difficult one at the moment for us to, to get excited about. But like I say, when these buildings arrive, um, that'll be a little boost. And when we move in then in January, probably the coldest months, it'd be great if they're, if they're not leaking, if it's warm enough. Um, and if we've got facilities, which will help the provisions we need, whether that's feeding the players, um, whether that's treating the players in the physio room, the analysis room, the SNC department, a, a working gym, um, everything which you'd expect to be of a League One team, let alone a League Two or National League team, we've not really had for a long period of time. So um, work in progress, um, but certainly looking forward to it.